have, uh, my wife and I, we have four, four children, uh, fifth grade, third grade, kindergarten, and two years to, to one and a half years until he's in school. I've watched my daughter go from, actually all of our kids do pretty well, uh, English and math, science, they have great minds. I'm looking at my older two starting to hate school. Um, going from outstanding and just loving life to do I have to go? It, it, it's a sad thing to watch my kids, just a perception of something that should be fun and entertaining and at the same time being engaging and expanding their minds to being a drudgery in a job. Uh, my children don't need that. I didn't have that as a child. I'm watching my, my daughter in fifth grade do concepts that I did a year prior. Thanks to teachers like Mrs. Stasek, who I had in ninth grade at Clarence, and uh, teachers like Mrs. Wallace, who I had for two years, I passed econometrics, which is statistics based, or calculus based statistics for economics for my undergrad and my MBA. So we, there are wonderful teachers that are out there, and they make the course load engaging and wonderful. I look at my son, he has one day to have recess. There's something wrong with that in third grade. It's, it's asinine to me to think about my kids who do well in school, to think about these kids that have disabilities, to even think what they're being told to do that my own kids that could handle it can't, aren't being asked to do. So there's obviously an upside down perspective on how we're looking at metrics are good, uh, a high standard is good. We have systems. We were, we're New York State. We have. We were the pinnacle, in my opinion, when I moved here in, in 1986, of how well education should be. I remember my brother getting, you know, it wasn't much, but he got a $50 savings bond for passing a Regis exams. I mean, that was what we, we strove to do, is excel our kids, to push them forward, to get them into college, to get them to better grades, to better things, and I'm watching all these people leave the state because we're no different anymore. What's the point? So, I mean, I plead with you, make education what education should be, a place to have our children expand their minds, to expand their experiences, but do it in a fashion that makes sense to them, in a way that makes sense to them. What I'm seeing my kids go through right now it just crushes my heart to think, here's my daughter who loves to read, she loves science, she loves these things. And I'm, I ask her every so often, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I keep watching the things, her decision disappear from the things she wanted to do. Because she doesn't think she could be that new. I don't know. But it's, it's sad to lay, just to have a conversation with her. And she doesn't like it. it, it so I plead with you. Do something to make those in the ivory tower that think they know better for my kid to come to my house and have dinner with my kids and understand.